hi viewers you are welcome to another video tutorial on start pro in this video i'll be showing you how you can analyze a beam that is loaded with a uniformly varying load in form of triangular and trapezoidal load so let's get into it you can just um create a new project space and then you give it a name so i'll give this beam with uvl uvs as in uniformly varying load then the length that will be meter and for the force that will be kilonewton then you click on next and finish since we are just having a beam so i can close this and then start by um then i'll start with the node so you go to the node i'll have one zero then i'll have another one at 2.5 meter uh, i'll have another one at five meter I will have another node at 7.5 meter then i can have another one at 10 meter okay so these are the five nodes then you can change the view put it in front view all right then i'll start by creating the beam so i'll click on the add beam icon here so i can create a beam from this node to this node i can create another one from here to here another beam from here to here another beam from here to here okay so that's good you can escape to take away that um beam icon then i will go to the general tab to give it a property um the first one is the property so you can click on define so we can define a property um rectangular beam and then we give it a section of 1 0.1 meter by 0.1 meter which is like 100 mm by 100 mm then you can add that close and then i will use this to assign to everything i will just use um assign to view you know in the last video i told you that when you say assign to view you definitely want to assign this section to every beam here assign to view then you click on assign then yes so you can see everything has this section of r1 which is r stand for rectangular then one simply means the first the first section which is um rectangular so that is looking great then now i will go to the supports to give it the support then i will create I will create a fixed support click on add i will create again i will create uh, a pin support and then you click on add so let's begin with the first one which is fixed support then i can click the node icon so um select this node you can hold control to select this node as well okay then this one that you can just click on assign to selected nodes okay this is the assignment method i'm using i'm trying to use almost every assignment method so that you can know how you can uh, you know use any of them so click on assign then yes so you can see that the the support has been assigned to the nodes i selected then click on the next support which is a pin support then i'm going to select the rest of the node just drag like this then the three are going to get selected then i will still use the assign to selected node click on assign yes so now we have the the nodes the next thing will be to um to have um to, to get a load so you go to the load and definition then first of all we have to create the load case then you click on add so the load will be let me just say uniformly varying load that is the name and then the type of the load i will just pick one let me see gravity load okay and then click on add then you can close that as simple as that so we just created the name let's give the value to the um to the load so click on add and then you can just go to um, member load so under the member load you can see the linear varying right and you also have the um trapezoidal if you look at the linear varying you will see that you have one side which is w1 and you have another side which is w2 okay and then when you look at trapezoidal you see that you still have the same thing w1 and w2 so there is basically no difference between linear varying and trapezoidal the only difference that exists between the two of them is that whenever you are using a linear varying you only have the chance to insert the value of the load it will not give you an option to insert the value for the distance of um the distance of the load you know where it is spanning from where it is starting and ending automatically when you are using a linear varying it will identify it that the load is starting from one node to the next node all right so you don't need to put the value for the d1 d2 d3 or whatever but whenever you are using a trapezoidal trapezoidal will give you a chance to insert the value of w1 and w2 and also give you the value for d1 and d2 which simply means that you can use um trapezoidal for whenever you want to have a load from one node to another node 
or when you want to have it from a just a particular um you know a particular dimension so let's try the two then for linear varying i will say the value for w1 is um minus 2.5 and then for w2 let's say minus 3.5 then that is good then you click on add all right then i can have um for trapezoidal i will have the same thing i will have minus 2.5 and then i'll have um, minus 3.5 then i'm going to have the load from zero meter up to 2.5 meter so you can click on add then let's do the third one the load will still be w um the w1 will still be minus 2.5 w2 will be minus 3.5 but d1 i will change d1 and d2 remember for one span it is 2.5 you know when i was inserting the node i was inserting it into 2.5 distance 0 2.5 5 7.5 and 10. so it means that for one span of the beam the distance is 2.5 so i'm going to make this one to start from one and then end in two Oh, no let me do it like this let it start from 0 0.5 and then so d1 is the beginning so the load will start from 0 0.5 meter and then it will end in 2 meter then you can click on add then let's close that should be enough so for the first one let me add it here click on this beam and then you can use assign to selected beam then click on assign then the load is here all right then let's use this one you can use this beam just click on this beam and say assign to selected beam yes then you can see it's a the same thing you can see what you have here is still the same thing as what you have here however we use linear varying for this and we use trapezoidal for this so that is exactly what i was explaining that you can interchangeably use any of the two you just need to know how you can do that then let's use the third one click on this and then let's select these two beams which is this one and then this one then you can see assign to selected beams then assign then yes okay so you can see where this is starting from so right now we've loaded the beam okay so all we just need to do is um do the analysis so you can go to analysis and prints and then you click on add okay then you can close then we just need to analyze so you go to analyze and then you click on run analysis then it will ask you to save you can save that's not a problem Okay, so you have zero error, zero warning, zero notes. So you can go to post processing to see your analysis results. Click on OK. Let me maximize this. Then you can check your deflection results. You know, you can check your deflection results. You can also check your um, your shear force. That's the diagram. You can also check your moment. You no, know, that's the diagram. And then to see the value, you can go to results, view value. And beam results so if you are checking this particular one is for the bending so you can check the bending okay so that's very good then you can um, close that so if you want to see the shear force click on shear force so this is the shear force diagram then you can see the result for the shear force go to view value and then when you come to beam results now you can now go to shear force let's see this okay so you see the you see the value so it is as simple as that if you like this video make sure you give the video a like and then you need to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed in the next video i'll be showing you another continuous beam that has um udl uvl and points load okay then we can now go ahead with the analysis